Hello and welcome everyone to episode 110 of One Piece at a Time, the One Piece read-through podcast where we read and discuss five chapters of the One Piece manga each and every week. I'm your host, Derek Bittner, and I'm joined by my wonderful co-host and freelance letterer at Shonen Jump, Brandon Bovia. How you doing, Brandon? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm, of course, Brandon Bovia, letterer of manga like uh, Kaiju number 8 and Dragon Ball Super. And we are post-Thriller Bark! But we're kind of, uh, we're not quite on to the next thing quite yet. I don't know. I, I quite liked the set of chapters and I'm, I'm <laughs> ready, to, ready to get into it. It's, it's just some good classic One Piece chaos. Yeah, I, I would even call, I, like, maybe set up for things, but it doesn't feel like it. It just feels like yeah, it, a it little. It feels like a little bit. Of, it's, it's sort of a diversion and also sort of not. Yeah, it's a side quest almost. Yeah, like it's not quite entirely contained to this set of five chapters, but it feels close. Yeah, it feels like here's a little side thing before we kind of get into the the meat and potatoes. Pretty much, pretty much, and it's like I wasn't I wasn't sure how I felt about it first because it, I forgot how side it was, but then it it, it ends so strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's what it's, and it's really just like it's just a few chapters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that helps. That it doesn't helps feel like it. It doesn't overstay its welcome, at least in my opinion. <laughs> uh, well, let's get right into it then with chapter four hundred and ninety-one, flying fish riders, and we have our new cover series number ten, the island of no survivors. So that's that's what remains of Enos Lobby. Oh, yes. See, well, <laughs> I didn't even realize it was Enya's Lobby until the next one. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, where are we? <laughs> oh, okay. it's, it's, it's obvious to me now. But yeah, I, I looked at this. I was like, huh? Eh, fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we begin the chapter proper with Sanji ecstatic about the fact that he's finally met a mermaid, a real live mermaid. And uh, Usopp immediately points out, it's like, it's the first one I've ever met. It's, it's, it's so wonderful. It's like, did you, hey, did you forget about Kokoro? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love this running game. Yeah, Sanji's coughing up blood. <laughs> He's like, Thriller Park, that was nothing. That was the true horror. That, that was the true thing that stuck horror into my heart. <laughs> this is, it's such a funny running game. Like, God, the, the humor in these opening pages is just rapid fire, one after the other. Just I love this running gag of, of like, you see, because Luffy didn't know that Kokoro was a murder because he was uh you know he was somewhere else for that <laughs> he was just like gross <laughs> Nami just punches him in the face yeah she keeps giving them heck for like being so rude to rude to Kokoro which I like that yeah. she's standing up for that and then we get the dynamic of Brooke where <laughs> I love that instead of like can I see your pain he's like can I borrow some money <laughs> yeah well, where does that come from <laughs> I don't know but it's, it's yeah and then of course Poor Kami just freaks out, you know, oh, skeleton. <laughs> it's like, no, I can open my skull. Isn't that interesting? It's like, yes, it's funny. It's like, wow, you turned around on that quick. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, Luffy just default, you know, asks her straight up, yeah, how do you poop? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, oh, pooping? Well, this is what I did. She's like, no, she doesn't poop. I don't need yeah, to hear this. Sanji just cuts her off. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> it's it's just the classic stuff for 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 Luffy and the rest. It yeah. just, it's just, we're only two pages in and it feels like it's just, it's, we've had like five gags. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's poor Papagoo who yeah. is, you know, he's like feeling left out that nobody's talking about him. He's like, okay, what's with the glove? It's like, oh no, no, this is my pet, my teacher. He's also a starfish that could talk. Yeah. <laughs> and Papagoo tries to do like a like a song rendition stuff, but they all ignore him <laughs> because yeah, he can the play, the, he can play the guitar apparently. Yeah, but then uh, apparently, yeah, he runs a um a t shirt label called Criminal uh, that's very popular in Fishman Island. Says Kami. So cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who knew he was trendy? I, I had no idea. He's about a, he's that. a businessman. Yeah, and he learned to talk because when he was a kid, he believed he was human. And by the time he realized he wasn't, he was already speaking like one. He's like, uh, does that really work that way? Eh, if you put your mind to it, you can make anything happen. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> 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 but like, I <laughs> I have a feeling, again, I wonder if this is one of those things that will, like, is that a gag or will it come up later? What like, Because it is sort of like a, he hand, he hand waves it. He's just like, oh yeah, I can talk. Like. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's just you kind of don't worry about it, I guess. It's, it's the very yeah, yeah. Odd it's, all right, move, moving on. Yeah, it, it could be one of those things. It's just one of those things, you know. That's that, uh. that's that one piece whimsy, but also just like that's an explanation, technically, I suppose. Yeah, I also like how Nami is re like ready to be on tasks. It's like, oh, it's perfect that we met met you. We need to learn how do we get to. And uh, <laughs> Luffy immediately cuts in, like, no, 
octopus fritters first. Yes, <laughs> this is very important. <laughs> so she's like, all right, let me let me call our chef. Uh, this is Hotchin. So we, we got separated. And uh, she calls and it's like, wait, this isn't Hachi. <laughs> Hachin. Yeah. And it's Makuro of the famous idiotic Makuro gang, which like, don't call yourself <laughs> idiotic. idiotic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what the heck? Well, it turns out that this Hachin, oh, gee, hmm, Hachi, huh? I wonder who that is. Yeah. Has been uh, captured uh, because he uh, went to go find her and they, they have teamed up with the Flying Fish Riders. So he was no match. And uh, you hear a little bit from this Hachin. And uh, it's like, oh, thank goodness, Cam, you're all you're OK. But no matter what, do not come here. I'll take care of these guys myself and come back. So don't worry about me. And they're like talking about actually selling him off. Yeah, which is well, <laughs> well, uh, there'll be a little bit more, I guess, about that later. But yeah, oh, that you know, I feel like there's some really dark implications about that. <laughs> yeah, we got some, well, fish man trafficking going on, which is, hmm. Yeah, that mm-hmm. has some. Yeah, that's sort of set up for that. That feels like set up for stuff later. For sure. Yeah, well, it's definitely interesting. Well, <laughs> we have this rather dark conversation we're hearing over the phone. Uh, you, you sort of see this poor Hachin kind of like, you know, you hear a pow sound effect that they punch him and, you know, then they hang up. And then Luffy is immediately like, so about the octopus fritter. <laughs> <laughs> that's all he cares about. And that's when Nami's mm-hmm. like, wait a minute, this Hachin who's on the transponder, I feel like I know his voice. They, and, they said he was an octopus fish man. <laughs> yeah. I feel I, I, obviously I think most readers would figure this out if, even if the cover stories hadn't happened by this point. Yeah. So it's like, oh wow, uh, Hachi's back. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's. I'm. I, if anything, I'm a little bit surprised that they they take as long as they do to figure it out. <laughs> or, or I guess it's more of a. They're like, hmm, that's weird, and you 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 would think like, oh, okay, it could be. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And she's like, hey, can we postpone this? I gotta go save my friend. And Nami's like, wait, 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 wait. These guys will help save you if you can tell us how to get to Fishman Island. How's that? It's like, oh, sure. I can do that. Yeah. And then, of course, here's uh, Luffy's motivation. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He, he's the owner of the octopus fritter shop I work. He's like, all right, we're going to go rescue the octopus fritters, even if it kills us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is when we learn a little bit about the next location. This is part of this Bounty Archipelago, Grove 44, uh, a little bit out from the archipelago, so just before the, the it proper. So, yeah, they got to make their way to this Bounty Archipelago, but obviously we don't have the uh, the log post set to it. Uh, but that's why we always got to figure out different ways to make this work. And it turns out that uh, Cammy's Aquaman. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I actually, I, I really enjoy this. Uh, we get a lot of looks at, like, what, mermaids are kind of all about you know we <laughs> we saw a little bit of a peek at at it with um with kokoro you know as, as much as they don't want to remember that but yeah no the it, it's apparently the, the fish the local fish are uh afraid of the flying fish gang so they'll they'll show us the way but they don't want to get too close right and i it's just really fun things when it comes to kimmy like how she just sort of walks over <laughs> to the to the guardrail the the, the the call out to the fish and then of course luffy's response is like you can talk to fish man if you stick around we can eat all the fish in the world <laughs> <laughs> and sanji's having don't don't mess this up for me shut up <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh goodness! But uh, yeah, they 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 have the fish all create an arrow, and they are able to sail after it. And you know, uh, when they first said like, "Oh, the fish will show us the way," I I was not expecting a giant arrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so they got clever. they got a laugh out of me. Yeah, <laughs> it reminded me of Finding Nemo a bit. Yeah, but uh, they, they 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 take off, and that's when. Uh, Zoro comes out from his workout saying, uh, we sailing, we going to Fishman Island. Just like, no, no, we've got a new guest. This is Kimmy the mermaid. She's like, this is probably the best version of this Kokoro gag. Yeah, like, I, I died at this <laughs> <laughs> oh, mermaid, huh? And there's Kokoro popping up and it just fizzles away. First time I've seen one. <laughs> <laughs> just erased your memory <laughs> how can chopper can see that <laughs> yeah, it's just just you know just completely memory hold that's it, it, a great visual gag <laughs> yeah it's really really fun 
Uh, but yeah, they, they, that's when Papa Goo tells us that, uh, you know, our targets aren't the only kidnappers in the area. There are dozens of such crews in the, in the, in the archipelago. Uh, because trading in human, uh, human beings is big business in these parts. It's like, that's, hmm. Mermaids. Hey, it's, did you want your human trafficking and your funny pirate comic? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, there's nothing quite like that to have that, you know, that aspect of it. But man. Apparently, mermaids fetch an, fetch an especially high price, but and the Mer- Mer- Makaro gang are constantly targeting Kami because of that. Yeah. I don't think they ever acknowledge it, at least not in the set of chapters, but I definitely thought a lot about how these are basically, like, fishmen selling out their own kind, basically. Yeah. I guess you could think back to the, uh, gosh, the times of, uh, well, the... Uh, the wonderful American slave trade. Woo. Yeah. How the tribes, <laughs> yeah, no, it, the tribes yep, would sell yep, out their yep. enemies to just get rid of them. Yeah. No, the, the, uh, there's a, a lot that kind of goes unsaid about this. And we'll, we'll definitely get more into the into the, the human trafficking bits uh, relatively soon. But yeah, it, it's kind of my first little look at it. And then they, they, they treat it, you know, it, it's kind of played for laughs, but also kind of not. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it helps that they're kind of idiots. And it reminds, correct me if I'm wrong, this, this trio, they have also featured in uh, Hachi's cover story, right? I don't remember. I, I swear I saw these three before and he like beat them up initially to save Cammy. Or something that like that. That would make a lot of sense. Yeah. Especially especially if they've been targeting her. Yeah, I think that's the case. But yeah, they they sort of go into the like why Hachi probably got uh, 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 kidnapped and that's when Zoro hears hears it. It's like octopus, Hachi reminds me of that idiot fish man we met that one time. Well if it's really and then Sanji says, Well, if it's really him, we won't save him. But not that it actually could be him, right? And yeah, it's I like, never. Hmm. <laughs> That's when we get the talk up of like the flying fish riders that have been creating havoc. Uh, so, if, you know, those guys are after you. You're you're in trouble, especially if they're boss, a guy named Duval who wears an iron mask and no one has ever seen his face without it. If they're looking for someone. They'll stop. Ev- they've stopped every ship to pass through in order to find that target. So uh, yeah, we just got like straight up gangsters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> But they're they're sailing along, and then the uh, the fish arrows are like, ah, yeah, we're out of here. And that's when the flying fish riders actually show up and start bombing. Like they're actually flying through the air. And yeah, I love that bombs they're the like sunny. actual planes, <laughs> <laughs> like mini helicopter subs or something like that. I don't know. It's it's like a mix between like like fighter jets and like a biker gang. It's it's kind of awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also like how you can tell how much stronger Sonny is than the Mary because mm-hmm. they, they take those hits and we don't see what exactly they hit him with just enough to cause you know, a bit of explosion or some smoke, but there's no real yeah. damage to it, which is like good on you, Frankie. Yeah. I feel like that's sort of a, again, not really a, a particularly said thing. Uh, as far as I can tell, I don't remember like the Sonny really taking damage in the same way, the way that they foreshadowed to the Mary following, falling apart the second they got into the grand line. Yeah. And, and yeah, you could definitely, that, that's, you know, a lot of that. I feel like if it did take damage, sustain damage, I feel like that would kind of undermine Frankie's expertise. Yeah. I mean, the, the Sonny was specifically designed for the grand line. The, the yeah. Mary was not. <laughs> mm-hmm. For sure. For sure. And that's when the, the uh, flying fish riders, as they had swooped down, realized, like, hey, we came from a mermaid, and uh, they, we found the Straw Hat Pirates. Duvall is going to be thrilled, so let's call it in. And mm-hmm. uh, we go to their their hideout, and uh, that's when he learns about the, the you know, the, with the camis with the Straw Hats. He's like, yes, the, the, the very pirate ship that I've been searching for all this time. I will kill him, the man who destroyed my life. And we get this sort of awesome look at what Duvall looks like with his Iron Man. Yeah, he looks imposing. He looks yeah. threatening. Uh, and apparently the, somebody destroyed his life. Which is like, what? Because <laughs> <laughs> who the heck is this guy? Is That's the immediate reaction. Yeah. We've got we got a mystery. That's a heck of a mystery. So Let's see what we can learn with chapter 492, Iron Mask Duval. And yeah, if you didn't realize it before, now it's com- confirmed. It's time for CP9 to get their cover story. Yeah. I have no idea where I don't remember this one at all. So I'm Yeah, <laughs> I'm I, very, I honestly very I don't curious. either. I have yeah. no idea what happens with them. All we know is that Bluto uh successfully saved uh Rob Lucci. 
with his yeah, air doors. Pulling him out from under the rubble. So <laughs> it'll be very interesting to see this group and what what they're up to because Yeah, I hmm. I'm very curious. I have I have no idea what to expect. Yeah. It's a bigger cast than usual for the these opening chapters too because usually it's just a one one person yeah that's true i wonder if this will end up like focusing in on one or two of them in particular or if it's going to be about the whole group maybe because we we had the closest i'd say we had to it was um broke works but we also started out with only three and then gradually expanded and by that time that was all done it was it wasn't the whole group going on adventure they basically got to a stopping point and like okay we're good yeah yeah but we start the chapter itself with uh, the flying fish riders left. They got a communication and told a retreat. Uh, so that that's so much for that. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it did leave an impression on Luffy because uh, he wants to ride a flying fish. So he's, of course he does. <laughs> he's just like, that's cool. I want to do it. I got to do it. Um, and yeah, I love that. You know, Usopp is like, uh, you know, well, how about I bring out the cannons? We can shoot them down. <laughs> and Frankie's like, yeah, that's a spirit. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I, I, I like how you, you're starting to see this confidence from Usopp. I'm really enjoying that. Yeah. And I feel like they have the sort of like dynamic between uh, like sniper and engineer almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, cause it, you, you get to see them kind of play off each other and work together a little bit in the set. Right. And Usopp was sort of the first one to bond with Frankie. Yeah. Yeah. So there's, there's an extra sort of connection there, but uh, we had, we had to the flying fish riders hideout, get a better look at it and high water world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing Very I thought much. of as soon as I saw this. It's like, oh, somebody's a fan of Kevin Costner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the vibes are very strong. Oh, yes. They're basically like, hey, why'd you, why'd you call us back? And then <laughs> Devoe just shoots at him. Is like, yeah, I wanted to catch the pirates alive. When I think of that man, that man I feel it like a scar in the middle of my back. And that's, <laughs> that's when we find out his quote. I mean, he's got an accent. <laughs> He slips into a southern accent, I think, whenever he gets angry. I'm going to guess it's probably yeah. an Osaka accent for... <laughs> yeah, I wonder I wonder how that reads in Japanese. I'm curious. I, did, I didn't look it up before this. But yeah, I, I love that. <laughs> that man moon <laughs> my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, usually, if we get a southern accent for an anime character, that's, that's Osaka. <laughs> yeah. That's just yeah, the way yeah, it is. Usually. <laughs> but yeah, we get to properly meet the macro gang uh, as we meet... Tansui, Macro, and Giaro, and God, the, their looks are so f- familiar that I, I swear that they were part of that. Um, you might be right. You might be onto something. Yeah. Also, just just gonna point this out. Uh, won't be relevant for a very long time. Uh, but they all have the sun tattoo, the same one that uh, Arlong and his folks have. Oh yeah, I didn't even yeah. notice that one. I yeah, mo- uh, mostly noticed we'll, the we'll, uh, anchor. We'll tattoo. We'll come back to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what the anchor is about. <laughs> I, I'm guessing that's just a sort of a sailor thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we also see that Duvall's huge. Another one of those just yeah, super he's tall massive. guys. Yeah, I, I kind of love how like it, he he almost feels like he's like like arc villain status. Like he's, yeah, he he has a cool design. You know, he's a just like a straight up mob boss. You're just like oh yeah, this guy's he makes a strong first impression. He's imposing and he has a. Funny gimmick. And, he, and he's a connection to the straw hats. Like, there's a lot of things working in his favor here. Yeah, he's got beef. They, that's when he's like, I can finally meet the straw hat gang. And uh, and they're like, oh, straw hat who? I don't recognize. And that's when we see Hachi here. He's like, oh, yeah. no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, <laughs> bad news for him. Uh-huh. We get a proper introdu- introduction to Hachan. Uh, it's like, it's like. Oh no! The sh- I didn't realize the straw hats are here. Did they capture Cammy? Oh god! And they're coming here. Like what's what's going on? Like he's he's worried because they were enemies before. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely definitely kind of awkward. Yeah, yep. and then you know he you know I just you know he's thinking uh, I bet Nami's still with him. She probably hates me. You know <laughs> the, the, the Arlong pirates did a terrible. I don't know. I really like how Hashi's portrayed here. Yeah, he doesn't seem as dumb as before. Yeah, and like, like I guess you. He he's a genuinely good person. Yeah, and he he's always had some he always real was. character development here. And yeah, yeah. I, honestly, the worst thing he ever did was that he was the one that found the notes saying that you know Belmare had two kids. Yeah, evidence. yeah, for sure. But yeah, it's just the way it goes. But Hachi Hachi was definitely the most innocent of that crew. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's when he's like, I, I got to get away from here so she doesn't come. I don't want her to get captured. I don't want the straw hats to be, you know, do all that. I got to take care of that. So, hey, Macro, I'll make you some octopus fritters if you let me go. It's like, no, no, I don't think I'm that big. I'm not that big of a glutton. Also, one thing I, I think we, we skipped over, but one of the, uh, no, I don't know if this guy has a name, but just the way they're like, oh, yeah, you know, the, the, who, no matter who Kami brings with her, like, we're going to capture them and sell them in the human shop, which is just yeah. like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. They just want to sell everybody. They These just, guys are monsters. <laughs> yeah, that's all it comes down to. It's just they want to just capture and sell everybody, which is so messed up. That's and the, dark. <laughs> and we have this continued mystery of, like, we don't know who Duvall hates. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I, f- I feel like th- there's something that kind of plays into this, or at least, you know, a little bit later. I, like, the assumption is Luffy, but, like, he does keep it vague, which is just like, who... Who you who like crossed him at whatever point in life? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but we also get these wonderful interactions with Cammy's like and she's already showing everybody like a- adding chin to the end of their name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess just the I think it's just a cute thing. And I love this little joke. It's like, be careful. The macro gang alone has caught me about 30 times. It's like, that's too many. Yes. <laughs> You've also been eaten too many times. Like, stop that. Yeah, it's just, her, her gimmick is getting captured. <laughs> yeah, and I love how like they show up and they're like, "Hachi, where are you? Where are you? Right here to rescue!" And he's like, covers himself in ink. Is like, it's like uh, this is obviously a trap. Go away, lead it. Uh, you know, leave. And uh, <laughs> Cammy and them are just like, I never. They're so trusting. I never imagined anything so awful. It's like this is why you keep getting caught. Yes. <laughs> I, I kind of love that they're, they're so, like, innocent, <laughs> these two. Uh, Cammy's freak out faces are still just wonderful. Yeah, they're great. They're they're amazing. Because it, it just, it, it, it's the perfect, like, yes, you know, she's a mermaid and she has a cute design, but it's also just, like, just <laughs> the way her tongue pops out, her eyes pop out. Uh, God, it's, it's funny. And all the while, uh, they're like, wait a second, I'm... This is suspicious. I think I recognize him. And Zora's like, yeah, I think it is him. It's like, well, let's just ask him. And Sanji calls out, how's Arlong doing? Huh? Uh, Arlong and Chu and Karubi, they were caught by the Navy. I'm the only one who escaped. Oh, crap. I said it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's still a little dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And I, I love here that, uh, you know, Frankie and Robin have no idea who this guy is. <laughs> yeah. None of the, from oh, Chopper yeah, but... on would have no idea who Hachi is. Yep. I love how Brooke just goes, I see, people have histories. <laughs> it's yeah. just something weird about that. <laughs> yeah. And of course, you know, Usopp is like, I led the charge. <laughs> mm. uh, the, the raid on Arlong, we defeated them. And Luffy immediately says, like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, so you're, you're the, from Arlong, is the, I, we're not rescue you. But before that, are your octopus fitters really that good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they're just like, wait, you guys are friends with Hachi? No, he's not our friend. It's like, oh, God, they're scary. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> just the pitch black ink shading face on Zoro. Yeah, the, and the, poor Kami, you know, she's, you know, on the verge of tears. It's like, you're not going to help rescue him? And it's, it's just, I, I kind of love that, like, the, the Straw Hats are, their morality is always being tested in a weird way here, where they're just like, like oh, God, not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, 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 an old enemy, which... Gives yeah. me hope, like, if they see Wapple, they'll just beat the crap out of him. That sort of idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kami won't give up. It's like, no, we're going to rescue you. You always rescue us, Hachin. And they jump into the water and immediately get captured by the Mokoro fishmen. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they're in over their heads. Yeah, it's just so, so naive. It's adorable. Yep. So they, they've got a hold of her. Sanji's just like, okay, we, we got to at least save her. And Nami's like, hold on, wait. Let's set, uh, let's set Hachi free, too. It's like, wait, are you sure about this? Yeah, he's actually innocent. Besides, we promised Kami. And so <laughs> no, it's interesting that Nami's the one that's being forgiv- forgiving to him. Yeah. Well, I feel like Nami's seeing the big picture here. Because, you know, like, regardless, you know, we need to have Kami on our side so we can get to Fishman Island. So I think I think cooler heads are prevailing <laughs> on this one. <laughs> yeah. And stomachs, let's be honest, because, well, if you yes. want, we'll save the octopus, too. And his, his eyes are just octopus yeah. fritters. It's so good. Yep. <laughs> but uh, Luffy reaches out, grabs a hold of Papagoo and Cami, frees them all, and uh, the, catches the flying fish riders off guard. And Kind of a cool stunt, actually. Oh, yeah. And uh, 
the, the Hachi's basically like, thank you, you're awesome. I'm in your debt. And uh, Zoro's, he's like, Zoro, open up the, the octopus's cage. So like, wait, you're in there a trap. It's like, huh, whatever. You wanted to fight, you got one. And I I love these oh, poses when the crew's all together. Yeah, I, I feel like this one's not going to be, you know, <laughs> they're probably going to be all right. Yeah, this this feels like it's going to be a bit of a stomping. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a fun little raw, but I I I do like that. <laughs> mm. We do have an SBS. We learn a little bit about uh, how tall Brook Brook is from this this card. Well, he was thirty eight, so now he's eighty eight, and he's eight feet nine inches tall. Good God! <laughs> Along with a hat that's also eight inches tall. Like yeah, he's a big boy. The fact that he lived at 38 at that height is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> it must be something in the bones. It's all that milk. I, yeah. He has very strong yeah. bones. <laughs> yeah. I also, I do love, I think we started getting this earlier, but we get like the SBS headers are sort of, uh, they're fan submissions now. Yes. And, and there's some this really one, good ones. Yeah, there's some really good ones. Yeah. This one with the, the ramen guy from the train in Water 7 doing, making sbs out of ramen coming out of his nose and sanji's just <laughs> pissed off it's great <laughs> it's, it's yeah. really good a lot of these are really creative i i love them i i'm kudos to these these to these artists it's it's it's, it's impressive yeah. but let's go ahead and move on to chapter 493 you know me and i'm confused by the title of this one where it's called rescue rob lucci where he's still passed out but he's already rescued he's he's right there so yeah. What are we yeah, rescuing from? Unless it. he's just trying to prevent him from dying, I guess. I guess it's just to show that like everybody's here. <laughs> Poor Khalifa, you know, <laughs> wrapped up in a sheet rope. because yeah. Nami ripped off all, all of her clothes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Uh the gang's all here. Yep. Well, time for the fight and uh let's let's bring on the flying fishmen and they start. I love how dynamic this one is because with the flying yeah. flying fish uh, riders, it's just like my god, they're just all over the place, and it has such a really unique cool dynamism. Shots. Yeah, I don't know if we like you don't really get fights where like like they're flying; they're just straight up in midair. <laughs> yeah, uh, and Luffy immediately grabs hold of a guy. He's like, "Yes, I caught one." Of course. And yep. uh, they start trying to line bombs, but uh, Sanji kicks him away, and. Uh, Nami's calling out orders like, hey, tie up the sails. They're only going to get in the way. And Luffy immediately gets hold of a flying fish uh, and is so happy that he's flying. Except they call out, hey, dive. And <laughs> yep. <laughs> does not work out too well. So Luffy had to be rescued off panel. And, and it's Chopper and Brooke <laughs> going after him. The two other devil fruit users on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> only Robin has any sense. Yeah. Yes, of course. It's really funny. But uh, yeah, of course, the macro, macro gang are after Kami at the same time. But Hachi is now free thanks to Zoro. But he just pummels him in one go. Yeah. I kind of like this um this dynamic, too, between Zoro and Hachi, where they're kind of... They're almost kind of egging each other on almost. Or, you know, just like, hey, you know, like, watch your back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there is that aspect. I also like the little thing you see that Hachi's also wearing criminal brand clothing. Has the same star yeah. symbol. Yeah. <laughs> so, gotta be trendy but yeah you get, get i i like how zora the hachi is like you know genu- genuinely like apologetic it's like i'm so sorry about before i really yeah, exactly. hit you with my really hurt you with my six sword style i was like i don't even recall you hit me once like really yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, goodness but Usa really getting to show his stuff with those, those cannon skills, knocking the fish out of the sea. Oh, oh I, I was like very confused. What like what is a zero fight supposed to mean? He's like, I'll pay one million in medical expenses. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, all right, I'll do it. And it turns out, like, oh no, this guy is uh, this is a ka- going kamikaze. I guess they don't want to do yeah. kamikaze uh, as a name or anything like that. But yeah. Uh, yeah, that speeds and size, the ship's not going to really be able to handle that. So Sanji kicks the guy and Luffy uh, cushions the fish with his balloon and uh, takes care of all that. And then he does a pile driver to the fish on the deck. Which, is, like, well, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, there's dinner. <laughs> there, yeah. <laughs> That's aw- yeah. God, this, this sequence is so fun. They're just, you're, you're seeing them all just kind of, 
again, just bounce off each other and, and use their abilities in fun ways. Mm-hmm. And Luffy still wants to ride one because he's like, hey, I'm not giving up just because I uh, that one time. And Brooke is getting up from his dip in the water. He's like, no, what is this? Uh, there's something wrong with me. This is my first battle with the Straw Hats. It would be a dishonor if I prove useless. So I will help out with what I can. He leaps into the air and does his lullaby parry, which is actually able to put the men, to, like the people to sleep. Yeah, including Chopper and Luffy. <laughs> of <Yeah>. course. <laughs> And then, of course, walk around the wa- walk over the water to then stab them. Uh, like, well, do his fencing technique to them and take finish them off. It's like that's cool. <laughs> like, yeah, it's that's it's, how you make it unique from Zoro. Him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it's and that was definitely something I remember uh, reading One Piece for the first time. I was like, a, a second swordsman, really? But you know, yeah, Brook definitely has his he has his own identity. Very much so. And Luffy, of course, takes the opportunity to get a hold of the fish and tries to ride it, but uh, it ends, so it ends up crashing into the boss's room, into Duvall's room. And so yeah. Luffy actually sees him without his helmet and recognizes him. He's like, it's you! And he's like, you yeah. know me, don't you? And he's like, huh. Who, who is this man? <laughs> yeah, who is this guy? Like, it, it's kind of crazy. He even spiked up Luffy's hair. Yeah, there's there's so much build up to this. It's so good. <laughs> But yeah, that's the chapter itself. So let's let's get right into it. It's it's, it's all action, so there's not too much to cover with these. But uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's fun. That's the great it thing. Is is it's so much fun. Time for chapter four ninety four, Duval's tr- uh, tragedy, and turns out that CP nine is actually uh, being pursued by the world government for, for their failure. So they gotta actually stay yeah. away. Yeah, uh, that's actually interesting too. Like, I wonder. Um... Like, are they going to face consequences for failing to stop the Straw Hats? So it's it, it's cool that we'll, we're going to see this kind of play out. Yeah. And there's a there's a little thought bubble thing of Spandom. And I don't know what that actually means. I don't know if he's yeah. like still around. Is, is like he's he not there? with them. Yeah. But maybe yeah. he's caught by the world government. So Who knows? I, I don't know that one at all. But we start the uh, chapter itself where Zoro feeling a little dazed because, well... He did. He did just get over that encounter with Kuma. You know, I, yep. I, I would not expect him to be fully recovered yet. Well, uh, <laughs> and it's still it's amazing how much he's still been able to do. Right. That. Yeah. He's, he was doing a full on workout before this point. So yeah, it's kind of insane. Brooke successfully makes it to land uh, just as he was about to finish his water run. <laughs> he's have a short break. And basically, he's like, hey, how you doing? How are you holding up, Zoro? And that's when Hachi saves him from uh, with his six sword style. I love that he, he, he gets like a kind of a cool shot. <laughs> yeah, I like that Hachi's not just useless here. He's not on the standline, the sidelines. He's actually in a part of all this. It's like, yeah, hey. seeing them work together is really cool. Yeah. And, and again, like they're both like, you know, like, hey, you need to follow through, you know. Just <laughs> yeah, it's like it you guys around. were spacing out. It's like, and that's when Kami's like, yeah, you're so cool, Hachi. He's like, yeah, it kind of was. And all of a sudden, a spear almost pierces his face. And that's when yeah. Brooke and Zoro save him. It's like, you got to stop spacing out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we go back to the ship and uh, we got Robin at the, at the top of the mast. We got Nami hanging out there, calling out to them. Like they're all sort of hanging out. And they go to t- take a swipe at Nami, and nope, it's a mirage tempo. And then she uses her electricity. It's like, nice to see her in these multi battles as well. Yeah, again, God, this, it, it really feels just like everybody's involved. Everybody's getting to do their thing. You know, they, they, try to, they try to take, you know, try to shoot Frankie, and he's just like, all right, you know, guns don't work on him. And, you know, he hits him with a strong hammer. Yeah. He got yeah. a little bit of a, a nice clutch from Robin, the cloven diamond from Chopper. Everybody gets to do at least one thing. Which is yeah. cool to see. And the, the Papa Goo's like, geez, I just wanted to rescue Hachi and get out of here. But they're t- dismantling them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Usopp's like, hey, we got to get to the dock. We're at a disadvantage here out in the middle of the water. It's like, well, they know they've got the ha- upper hand. So they're not going to let us move the ship. And that's when all these uh, poison spears start coming out. Uh, well, they, all these spears start chasing after Luffy. He's like, uh, hey, look out. Big one's coming. It's like yep. uh, the the the, ma- the mask guy and the and a cow a cow <laughs> sounds a like Motab- <laughs> sounds like Motobaro and that's when you see it and the he, here's Duval riding a giant bison named Bo- yeah, Motobaro. I love that he's I love that he's got like motorcycle handlebars. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Again, it's like they're a biker gang, but just in like the goofiest way possible. 
<laughs> it's like, hey, I don't kidnap folks because I like like to. You know that, don't you? It's like, of course, boss. boss. It's like, there's something, there's something odd about this Duval because today is a happy day. The man I always dreamed of killing is here right before me. Miracles do happen. So... I was going about my business one day when suddenly that man sent me to the pit of doom. Today I get my revenge. I'll kill you even if it costs me my own life to do it. Sanji. Page turn. Yeah. (laughs) Dun, dun, dun. (laughs) It turns out it's Sanji that he's been upset at this entire time. (laughs) Yeah. I love, you know, (laughs) when Nami's like, maybe it's from the restaurant. You know, try to remember, like, like, (laughs) to piss him off. (laughs) Well, I was pissing off a lot of people back then, so... uh. Yeah, and, uh, Usopp's like, time to get killed. You reap what you sow. <laughs> and that's when we get this other odd thing. It's like, it wasn't that long ago. Don't play dumb. Like, what? Well, it, it's funny, too, that Duval simultaneously was like, I've waited my whole life for this, but also, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so inconsistent. Yeah. And uh, he has his harpoon, po- harpoons that are full of poison. So even if they touch you, you'll die in three minutes. So that's the extent of his wrath. He's going to kill Sanji and his friends for all that. And uh, Luffy's like, yeah, I saw under his mask. Uh, so who is he? Well, I'll show you, but don't be surprised. Uh, okay. It's like, you know him too. He's like, we too. Do? Yeah. I was like, what? What? <laughs> so What's Luffy kicks off the helmet and reveals what's underneath Master Duvall's iron mask. And he's like, go ahead. Look, look at my scarred face. And everybody's shocked. And I love the build up. Oh my god. And the the slow zoom on Sanji. <laughs> and get the dark shadows on his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and I love that Robert's just like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. It's like, I've been waiting for this day. Resolved to set out the sea to kill you. But it wasn't easy finding you. The wanted posters had the wrong face. Even if the Navy and the bounty hunters had seen the real guy, they might not have recognized him. Oh, but they thought that, but they would have thought they recognized him. And, and I so- love that his crew's crying. <laughs> <laughs> that they're all sobbing for him. Frankie's sobbing for him. And yep. uh, that's when Sanji like jumps off, swims to the dock, runs up to him. It's like, yep. like when they did say, they'd say, I found him. It's Blackfoot Sanji. And I would say, it's not me, I swear. I don't even know the guy. I ain't even a pirate. <laughs> that's when we see that Duvall has freaking Sanji's wanted poster face. This is one of the best gags in the entire manga, hands down. It's all of this was a build up to a stupid joke. Yep, <laughs> just a joke the entire way. All, of and, all the build up, everything else, have this big, imposing, cool design, and the guy with the mask has <laughs> Sanji's wanted poster this, face. This stupid wanted poster face. I'm, of all of the gags to come back around like this. <laughs> And, he's just and, like, and yeah, you, you that would suck for you if suddenly like you're wanted by the navy and and other pirates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and bounty hunters from... coming after you. He's like, "Give me back to my life." I never. What did I ever do to you? And Sanji just kicks him in the face, saying, "I don't care. I don't care." <laughs> Uh, so good. What a way to end this chapter. I, I love it so much. <laughs> I love that reveal so much. Yeah, it's it's great. Oh my god, Duval's tragedy indeed. <laughs> I can see some people being upset by this, but I just think it's it's so humorous that you can't. You yeah, it, it's the right amount of build up for this. It's not yeah. like d- d- like dragged out over the course of a whole arc or anything. It's no. it's like three chapters, <laughs> literally three chapters before the fourth one finally reveals it. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's great. I love it. There is an SBS, but honestly, none of them are that interesting. Yeah, not really. No, uh, no. Nah. <laughs> so we're just going to move on to chapter 495 Gowan can- Cannon. And uh, that's when we see uh, CP9 still escaping. The pa- Well, we have the path of escape as they're leaving Enos Lobby, walking along the um, the sea train rails. Oh, I was wondering what that was. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I guess. You yeah. Can... Wow. And. <laughs> Cauliflower got rid of the rags in favor of Jabra's coat, which yep. I feel like the rags might have covered her up a little bit better. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Also, I, I like that the pigeon's still around. We yeah, didn't the, uh, acknowledge that last time. But the pigeon's still around. It's also pretty interesting that Jabra of all people is the one carrying Kaku because they had that rivalry. Yeah, yeah, they had the little rivalry, so they they're good. Yeah, I'm very curious how this is all going to end up. Like, because yeah. 
we just it's very much still in the setup phase for the phase for this one Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we, we get to it, we get to the chapter, and it's like, what do you mean you don't care? You got to take responsibility. No, I am the one who should be mad about that wanted poster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, I love uh, all of the Straw Hat's reactions are so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, world really is a big place. Well, maybe Sanju was born under a charm star. <laughs> I love that Robin. He's sure to die an interesting death. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. I love how Hachi's just like, hmm, they look identical, like two peas in a pod. And all the while, freaking Brooke is just cracking up. Yeah. He's just <laughs> laughing so hard, which is probably the best reaction. It is It is my favorite reaction of all this. <laughs> Sanji's just like, I'm going to flatten you. <laughs> Luffy's just like, all right, we're just going to go ahead. He's like, "This is you think this is my fault? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I love this bit, too. Sanji's just like, if you didn't want to look like the wanted poster, you could have easily changed your hair or grown a beard or something. And then you just get like that slow two panel zoom on Duval. And then he just, oh. <laughs> he just like turns to the turns to the camera, you know, just like ah. Oh, you, you say you never thought of that? <laughs> you guys are complete idiots. It's like before before that one poster, we were running a humble criminal outfit in the country around these parts. So we terrorized the villagers. It was, it was a, you know made ends meet, but it was a happy life in its own way. I would like to remind the the listeners of this podcast that he is a human trafficker. <laughs> yes, he is a human trafficker. Exactly. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, these super high-level Navy types started showing up looking for me. It's like, I was able to get away, but I still carry the scars. You ruined my life. So, uh, you know, if you don't like it, then you have to kill me. <laughs> oh, God, he's really going to kill me. <laughs> he's really going to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah. that's when his men show up with a, uh, a net, grab a hold of Sanji, and start dragging him underneath the, the, the water. It's like, now, now you must suffer and drown. And uh, Luffy's ready to charge in and go save him. And it's like, no, 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 don't do that. It's like, no, a human could never catch up. It's like, leave it to me. It's, it's, this is Hachi. It's like, no, not mm -hmm. even a fish man could catch up. Flying fish are the top rank of the fastest sea creatures. I kind of like this pecking order we got going on here. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting, actually. The riders wear oxygen tanks so they can stay underwater for several minutes. So this is a watery grave. He'll be nothing but a, a corpse. That's when all of a sudden Cammy ste steps in. It's like, it'll be all right. And uh, Papagoo all cocky is like, Heh, you forgot about someone. You're right. Flying fish are faster than fishmen. But at the top top are the mermaids. And all the sea in all the seas of the world, mermaids are unmatched for their speed. And she's like, is she really that fast? She's like, yeah. No one ever actually would catch mermaids if they weren't spacing out all the time. <laughs> yeah, okay. So they get caught because they're stupid. <laughs> I also, I like that this also kind of explains Kokoro. And, and yeah. how, like, she was able to save the Straw Hats because I guess she swims ridiculously fast. That is a good point. I didn't even think about that, but that does retroactively solve that, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't think I looked at that scene like, that, that, just, that doesn't make sense. But, yeah, it, it, it offers an explanation for that. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Not, not necessary for one, but still, you know, fun to have if you think about it. But that's when they drag out a giant ship yeah. anchor that they're just going to drop on the Sunny. You're just like, all right, you know, screw it. Everybody dies. <laughs> uh, Frankie's like, yeah, we're sunk if that hits us. We, we got to get out of here. Can we do use a crypto? Can we use a coop to burst? Like, nope, there's no time. Uh, stay on standby at the bow. It's like, uh, I'm going to use the emergency secret weapon. It's like, wait, what? Secret weapon? Yeah. I love, because we didn't get a whole lot more of the Sunny, like once we got to throw their bark, you know, because most of that arc was like they were on the on the ship. And we get to see another function of this ship the, where the main starts to spin and we see the emergency evacuation secret weapon, Chicken Voyage. <laughs> where chicken that, Voyage which is great. Where it just it allows it to back up. up. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> it's so much fun. And then he's like, hey, Usopp, get in the prowl. Whoa, I can actually get in here. We can't win this by dodging. And then the, the, the freaking mast, not the mast, but the uh, the front of the ship starts to open up. The mouth opens yeah, the up. Which, yeah, revealing a cannon. <laughs> which, when they said gown cannon, I thought that was going to be a weapon of Duval's gang, not of the yeah. of the Straw Hats. And it's like, wait, what is that? It's like, okay, get as many inside the circle as possible inside the circle. Okay, lock it and pull the lever. Uh, this one, and it just rips apart the entire archipelago. Oh my goodness! Yeah, and I love, <laughs> I love that. Like just Luffy and Chopper got stars in their eyes because they're just like. We can we can shoot laser beams. <laughs> <laughs> Luffy is just 
just so happy he's crying yeah shot down nearly all the frying flying fish is like it's like hey you got good aim not bad for your first time which marksman who's yeah. not marksman for the win again i was saying here like like the sort of dynamic with with luffy not luffy with uh, usopp and uh, frankie is great <laughs> yeah it's it, you can't use it too often but it, it's good when it you takes do up it. a lot of cola <laughs> yeah uses three barrels of cola energy cola energy up front so as not to blow the ship away and i fire a two barrel cuda verse in the back so it takes a ton so we can't use it very often i love he's drinking another cola as he's saying it that's great God, oh man this, this cola power <laughs> frankie's the best weaponry, right Kami successfully tied up the uh, the fish riders. Has saved Sh- Sanji. Is rushing towards the t- uh, towards the surface to save him. It's like is he, is- poor <laughs> Sanji's getting he's getting nuzzled. <laughs> he's un- <laughs> he's unconscious, so he doesn't get to experience it. <laughs> uh, but he's but he's happy. He's like Sanji. He's you got to help him. Sanji's bleeding horribly. Is he dying? I thought I saved him, but there's blood pouring from his nose, and he's just nuzzled up against nuzzled up. Okay, against so he like, he knows. Oh. I didn't I didn't look at the panel below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He is. He's in heaven. He's in, he's in heaven. He might still be alive, but he's in heaven. Could, yeah. <laughs> if he's going to die I'm, a little bit like that. He's happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Luffy's just like, well, you've lost a lot of men. And, and Duvall's not giving up. He's like, you're going to know the terror of Motobaro. Countless have fallen prey to his powerful horns. Horns. It was uh, his horns that put a whole air holes in the village dam. Put him in a cage and he breaks free. So it's like Luffy's like, all right, I'll stop him. Yeah. And uh, I love how like he goes to charge and like, oh, the horns don't matter because they're so short. Yeah. <laughs> just boop, and, just... and it's interesting Holds here because him Luffy nose. catches him and all he says is, it's a waste of time fighting you, which sends this jolt through Motoboro and he just runs off in fear. Yeah, and he falls over foaming at the mouth and you know, even Luffy's just like, huh? Yeah, it's like, what what happened here? And Duvall's like crying over. He's like, I didn't see him do anything. It looked like Luffy wowed him into unconsciousness. Uh, we're just going to move on from that. <laughs> yeah, that's all we'll say about like, that. <laughs> oh, huh, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, huh. Very odd. Usopp kind of puts it best. He's like, what, like winning with passion? Can that happen? <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess that's a thing. And uh, that's when Sanji steps up. Is like, hey, Luffy, I'm going to finish this off. Uh, you stupid whiner. Sanji dodges all the attacks and just starts pummeling his face with yeah. his Oh, his I love kicks. this his, this dialogue from Sanji. He says, I don't want to see the cheap scribbles on that water poster. Somebody who looks like that shouldn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> and so he just kicks the hell out of his face. And that's with yeah. his parage shot. And that's that's where we end. What a <laughs> what a bonkers set of chapters. <laughs> It, it's very obvious that it's setting up, but also not quite. Like, it's setting yeah. up in more subtle ways where it's just, here, have this wacky adventure involving uh, Sanji's wanted poster and this this new form of writing that just sort of expands the world and what's possible in the Grand Line. Yeah. And, and we got human traffickers. <laughs> yeah, and human traffickers, which... Yeah, which is... Uh... Yay! <laughs> Tell you, like, well, like, we've seen this time and time again, but yeah, no, the, the this world is surprisingly kind of messed up. <laughs> oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. It, 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 it's in a very kind of funny and cartoony way. And again, I, I we talked about it a little bit, but I, I really love what, uh, what we're doing with Hachi here. It, it really, yeah. I don't want to call it like, I guess it's sort of a redemption, but like you already kind of knew between how he was betrayed in in Arlang Park and then his own cover story, like you. You you got the vibe that he wasn't really a bad person. It's a it's a different feel from when we met back up with Buggy, for example. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because we see Buggy again, you're just like, again, you're just like, oh god, this guy. And he he clearly <laughs> has no regrets. You know, he's just like, ah, uh, you know, uh, he's he's Straw Hat's number one hater. <laughs> yeah, and we haven't met with uh, met up with any other previous villains. So yeah, yeah. It's it's gonna be interesting how that dynamic plays out once the fighting's all all done. Yeah, and I, I re- that's something I do really appreciate about the cover stories too, because it, it really is just like, or you know. Since Oda doesn't really kill his villains, you know, you got kind of get to see what they're doing in the aftermath. Yeah, you can do some odd things, whether they get further, go further down that path, they re- get redeemed, go on some weird side story on the moon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Sometimes you just go to the moon, you know. The usual. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> but, yeah, 
fun way to start the chapters, uh, just going all action right off the bat. And with that, I believe we've said all we wanted to say about chapters 491 to 495 of One Piece. Thank you so much for listening, and you can find more of my ramblings and stream VODs over at BitNerd Games on YouTube, or BitNerd with an underscore at the end on Twitter. And Brandon, where can everyone find you at? I am at Branabovia on Twitter, talking about uh, anime, anime, manga, games, and my job. And um, we're going to hit the big 500 next week. Yes, we are. It's... Mm-hmm. Weird to think about, but we are getting closer and closer to that halfway point. Yeah, I was going to say, if if this were about two years ago, we would be halfway. <laughs> <laughs> From when we started this this yeah. podcast, we'd be at halfway. <laughs> yeah, because I, I think we were a little bit past the 1,000 mark uh, when we started, right? I believe so. But I, I, I remember, I distinctly remember everybody talking up the fact that One Piece had reached 1,000. I, I said this before, yeah. but that was sort of what inspired me to like, I should get back into the manga. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so here we are, you know, we're almost to chapter 500. Again, I feel like whether you like it or not, uh, chapter milestones do t- tend to be kind of a big deal. Should well, be interesting. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, we're getting into some of the really, really good stuff. So stay yeah. tuned. Yeah. And, hey, if you'd like to help us out more, you can support the podcast over at patreon.com slash Derek Bittner. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-B-I-T-N-E-R to listen to the next episode ad-free three days early. And make sure to return next time as we discuss chapters 496 to 500 of One Piece. So until then, my friends, bye. Remember to take life one piece at a time. They really do look the same, don't they? Two peas in the pod.